Oh, yeah. So hi guys, we're back to my Try and Save video. As you can see from Try and Save video, we've got a new painting right here. So this is my third painting. So if you haven't already, before I show you the painting I'm doing today, click up there or up there uh, in the cards right there. So and check out my other um, two of the paintings that I did. So and the cobalt cobalt painting and the wooden board and the um, 30 by 22.9 stuff like that of the water flexion painting so that I just did in the previous video or this might be another video but how I schedule it around but this is the next video for me but so this is the painting that I'm going to be starting to do today so as you can see so I don't think the oh yeah well we can see but um, it's like quite like a white it's like a blue very light very very light uh, whitish blue you can we can see this these rivets of the water right here so it's quite more black like so with the other water reflection painting there's more like a lot more colors going on but this one's mainly got greens blues blacks skin tone colors so yeah it's not as much colors going to be used with this painting and this is like half the size because this is the canvas I've got three of these, more of these canvases, so more of these canvases will be coming soon, but um, this is a stretch canvas, so this is, so as you can see the borders, I don't have to paint these if you don't have to, but obviously the other one was a box canvas, so there's different canvases that you can get if you don't already know, but this is a stretch, stretch canvas, it's 20 by 20 centimetres, 7.9 by 7.9 inches, so it's like a square, so it's quite small, and it's exactly the same size, as this underneath so as you can see it's pretty much exactly the same size so I'm going to be painting on this so hopefully this will all look pretty good so but yeah so that's what I'm going to be painting this video today so today I'll be starting to do the base and then um, probably I'll finish off with drawing it depends on how long it's going to take but hopefully this so my other painting that I did in the previous video it took about um, six days you see but this one should take about half the time, about three to four days maybe, something like that. So, but yeah, hope you liked that video and hope you're going to like this video if you like my painting. So, yeah, so start off with painting the base coat and opening this guy up. So, yeah, let's do that right now. So, as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment as always. And um, also sh follow me on my social media right here. So, Instagram, Snapchat, and also my new... Um, Instagram account, my art account. So, if you haven't already, check out those pictures of in the sneak peek hyperlapse in those as well. So, the camera's going to be used today. So, I'm using the Canon M50 today, right now, for when I'm going to show you the, the paintings and stuff today. The, pa the paint that I'm going to be using for each day, and then also other camera or it's phone is my Samsung Galaxy S10. That's going to be used for hyperlapse and everything like that. So. There's two cameras, so, oh, and also the link in the description of this painter will be in the description down below. So check him or her around. I'm not sure, sure at this point in this video who it's by, so it's a him or her. But yeah, you already seen it probably from the thumbnail anyway. But stop me babbling, and let's go on with the video.
and that's pretty much it for day one today so um, thank you for watching this bit of the video so like I said I don't know how many days it's going to be so I'm not going to put it here but or you'll see it at the end of the video but I would say like I said at the start about um, three to four days maybe because obviously it's about half the size of the other one so you're going to really check it out in the cards right up there or there um, other art videos and like I said my Instagram when it, anyway but I want to show you um, so I started off with painting this today so as you can see um, it's still kind of wet you can see my fingers look mm -hmm. but you can see you can see it's like kind of wet can you see that reflection but um, from here you can see this is this and then it's very similar to this color as you can see so it's like it's not white it's probably you probably can see it's like white on the camera but as you can see from the guy's body it goes like a dark grey to almost white and so I've just done the dark grey colour at the moment as you can see right here but then when I do the guy so I'll probably start doing the guy and then last thing I'll do is the white so but I don't know how it's going to work but um, this is what it's looking like at the moment so I've got the so start off with this after this is a picture obviously as you saw I cut it out and then after, after when I painted that um, I traced, so I traced it this side first and then, the, then this side all the other way around so obviously this side will go on like this I think so onto the actual canvas just like that so tomorrow in day two I'll start drawing that out on there so I might take two times to do so I'll start it on there and it might take another time to do it because last time if you saw the video it took two times to do it because uh, it wasn't very clear it was only very a light pencil line but I had to make it a slightly darker pencil line so that's what I did on the on the glass on the window so I did that so that's the last thing that I did and then I did well I did actually put another layer on top because one layer wasn't really enough so I did put another second layer on top just to make sure but yeah so this is a stretch, stretch canvas by the way not a box canvas like the other one, the other one was quite thick like that but yes so this was looking like at the moment the canvas obviously got the trace paper there and then obviously got the picture right here so this will hopefully be done in three to four days like I said so but yeah thank you for watching for day one and let's go on with day two
that's pretty much wraps it up for day two right there. So now I just want to show you what I've done today, obviously for the time lapse. So um, first of all, trace this onto the canvas, so you can see right here. Obviously, um, I trace this from the back side. Obviously, from um, day one, trace this, and but then I trace onto the canvas today. And then, um, obviously, this is the picture I started with, as you probably can see. As you can see right there. And then we've got what I did today. And then I'll show you after the cameras, I'll show you the, the paints that I used. This is what it looks like, as you can see. Well, a bit better. But yeah. So about that guy's done just came with me, but anyway, this camera so I think I put a good like pretty similar as you probably can see. Like right here. And the water reflection and stuff and the colour, the background and stuff. But yes, I'll do a complete overview of it. Um, when I finish which like will probably be day 3 or day 4 because I've done um, this in day 2 I've done most of the painting in day 2 so I should be finishing day 3 or day 4 but yeah I hope you're liking it so I'm going to sh show you paints I used today so just down here so first of all we've got white And we got Pahala, Pahalo Blue. Then I used Orchid Yellow. And then I used uh, Rindon, so like a turquoise colour. Then I used just light green and for a small bit. And then last up we've got lemon yellow. Those are the colours I used to and then use a slightly thicker brush for the body. And then the thinner brush I always use for most of the painting today, so yeah. Um, then also just before we can see on the screen I've also got the um, paints, um, the mixed up colours that I used today in the grey pot, so I use those today so yeah, so as you can see right here. But yeah, that pretty much is it for day two. So hopefully, like I said, day three will be, be uh, the comes will be completed then. And then either day three or day four, whenever the last day is, I'll tell you um, who's going to be, who's the um, painting, is, who is who is it by. But you probably already, you probably can see from the title anyway, it's probably, it's a link in the description also. But I'll tell you, and, show you their page and what other um, paintings they've done also but yeah you'll see that in day 3 or day 4 whenever that day's uh, the last day that I do this painting but yeah that's it for day 3 the high hyperlapse and everything so let's go on with day 3 
guys that's pretty much wraps it up for day three right here so um today is the last day of doing it so this is the last time you're going to see the painting and the tracing paper of the drawing and everything like that so i'm going to show you right now um and then i'll tell you uh what colors i've used today so just down here so for so this is the tracing paper that you've seen since the start you probably didn't see that clear of the sun um in day 12 in day two sorry that's what I use to trace the guy underwater. And then we've got um, obviously the picture you didn't see as clearly before in day two, like I said. So that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to reveal to you, obviously, you see the time lapse of me painting it. But it's the full camera here, ready to see in three, two, one. Here we go. It looks pretty accurate to me. So, um, it's just it together as you can see, but now I'm going to do a, a full montage of, of this close up. So, you'll see it in detail in one second, but this one looks like, like this both together. So, this is the closest I can get to the background colour. So that very very light blue sort of purplish or colour as you can see right here. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna do a montage like I said of this. just saw the montage just right there of the um, painting the overview so I hope you like it so yeah so like I said I was going to show you I'm going to show you right now the paints I used today so let's start off so I'm just reading it from my phone the video so it's ultramarine, ultramarine is first and then drop it down and then we've got deep red I think it's the first time I've done it for any painting not just this painting and then we've got um, orchid yellow um, these are also we've got uh, light green next then next up is for hello blue and then we've got um, sap green next color so it's like very light and we've got um, lemon yellow lemon cello um, burnt umber which the darkest colours I've got, I didn't use the lighter brown today but burnt umber is the darkest brown that I've got we've got black today, black, I haven't used as much black I've only used white obviously throughout this painting of the paintings that you've seen and then we've got light blue which is called Seraclean I think it's called say it's something like that as you can see right there then last of all we've got white and there was like a bit of paint on there but must have smudged it on when I was painting on my finger but yeah so that's all the paints I've done today so yeah I think that um, all I was also going to show you on my phone right now um, the artist who did this painting so I'm just going to show you that right now
you guys can see it's a bit dark and a bit late on um, from the last clip as you saw it was a bit bright before but but now I finally found the uh, paint of the painting that I showed you so of today so you can see from the title of this video who is it by but she called Bridget Yoshiko Ruch now something like that this is her let me just look that's what we can see right here that's her and then she's from Germany and this is her name we can see right there so she does lots of artwork I was going to show you she does 100 she's doing 119 this is also by Sachi Art also put I'll put a link in the description down below also but um, let me just find the artwork because all sorts of art as you can probably can see like I said, in that link, I'll put all her artwork in there. So on here, you can see that she just like this is her, and she does lots of art. And there's another before water reflection painting, and she does like lots of other ones. She's quite like minimalist in what she does. Like everything's quite like there's not a lot of colour some bits are not going what's going on I think we're coming to my painting now here we go as you can see my paint's called uh, rainbow S skin number 10 and that's it no number one sorry number one so this is my painting as you can see let's tap on it and it should load up. There you go. But I'll put the link to this. A link to this picture in the description down below and the artist of today's video of this painting. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got to show you today guys. So this painting. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, like a comment as always. I think we're on 156 subscribers. And as you've probably already seen um, from coming onto my channel, you've probably seen um, my name's changed. It's not called um, Hammerson Vlog because I couldn't say this in the start of this video because I didn't do it because this today is the 21st of May and the 20th was 20th of May was yesterday and that's when I uploaded my new YouTube banner you probably can see on the screen right now but I put it up so YouTube banner and the YouTube name Harrison's vlog so comment down below if you like that new name so sort of how red 75 750 that didn't really make any sense to me and to anybody really so but Harrison's vlog makes more sense because I do vlogs not just um, vlogs uh, on holiday or but I make vlogs and gaming um, art um, all sorts of vlogs that's why I just called it Harrison's vlogs my name's Harrison if you don't already know but that's why I call Harrison's vlog so like I said comment down below if you like it and yeah hope you enjoyed today's video and <clears throat> if you liked it then comment down below um, what other art I should do or anything like obviously I've been mainly doing water reflection that's my main idea of the topic that I'm doing but yeah any other art I'd like uh, to do just comment down below but anything but yeah thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next video bye then guys bye